So we will continue with the additional poses. And the first one we will do is called crow. Where we will put our feet on either side of the mat with our feet going outward. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just squat down, put your hands in prayer. You should allow your arms to push the legs back and hold the pose. Make sure that you're breathing. In order to get in the crow position, you put both of the hands in front. You position yourself where your arms are right up under the legs and you allow the, you bend over, allowing the body to rest on the legs and balance. Make sure that you're breathing. You might could do one leg at a time until you can get both legs up. Release the pose, sitting back up. Allow yourself to just fall on your bottom. Well, the next pose we will do is wheel, where you're going to lie down on your back, bending your knees, you're going to make sure that your bottom is touching the heel of your feet. Your fingertips should be able to touch your heels. You're going to raise your bottom up using your legs. Your shoulders should be coming in. You can put your hands on either side of the ears and push up on your head. Make sure that you're breathing, pushing up with your legs. Your elbows should be in. You should really feel this stretch in your stomach or your abdomen and just allow yourself to push up. Release the pose, come down one vertebrae at a time. Allow yourself to sit up. From here, we will go directly into boat, where you're going to sit and make sure that both of your cheeks are directly on the ground. Your chest should be out, your shoulders should be back, your stomach should be tight. And what you're gonna do is your arms can be out. You're going to slowly raise your legs up. They can stay bent or they can be straight. And your back should be straight. straight and remember to breathe. This is a balanced pose. It's a core strengthening pose. Make sure that you're breathing. If you're shaking, that's okay too. Hold the pose. Release the pose, allowing yourself to come up. From here, we're gonna go into twist, where we're going to bend the left leg. We're gonna bend the right leg over the left leg. We're gonna raise the right hand up and place it right behind the, the left cheek. Make sure that you're up straight. Raise the, right, the left hand up Cross it over the left, the right leg, and twist the body all the way around with your head over the right shoulder. Your back should be straight. Make sure that you're breathing. So we're gonna inhale in. Exhale, straighten the back. Inhale in. Exhale, straighten the back. Last time, inhale in. Exhale, straighten the back. Release the pose. We will do the same thing on the other side, where we will bend the right leg. We will take the left leg around the right leg, sitting up straight. 
You're gonna raise the left hand, put it right behind the left cheek, raise the right hand, cross it over the, the left leg, and twist around with your head, looking over the left shoulder. Your back should be straight. Make sure that you're breathing. Inhale in. Exhale, back, straighten your back. Inhale in. Exhale, straighten the back. Last time, inhale in. Exhale, straighten your back. Release the pose. From here, we're gonna go directly into shoulder stand. From shoulder stand, we're gonna go directly into plow. We're gonna go, after plow, we're gonna go directly into fish. So we're gonna start out with shoulder stand. We're laying on our back. And what we do is we allow our core to raise our legs up and push up. Your legs should be horizontal to your body. And you should just breathe at your own pace. Make sure you're breathing. This is a great core strengthener. They say that shoulder stand is the queen of all poses because it's the beginning of an inversion. We're now just to go into plow where you will allow the feet to just go all the way over, bending over the head, touching the ground. Your arm should be down straight. Since your rib cage are compressed, you should definitely take deep breaths in and out. In and out. Continue to breathe. From here, we will allow ourselves to go into fish, where you will slowly come up with your legs, allowing to your core to really, really guide you down. And you will roll down over your hands, going up, leaning back on your elbow, your head down. And this pose is a real easy pose because it doesn't require for you to do anything but relax and breathe normally. This is the counter pose to shoulder stand and plow. We're really allowing your chest to open. And just breathe. Release the pose by just moving the arms out and just lying straight. Now you can allow yourself to sit up and we will position ourselves for our final pose, which is headstand that I will demonstrate and hair that Cherie will demonstrate. So what you do is you make sure that your hands and knees are down. You put your hands together and you bury your head in the crown of your hands. So I will demonstrate now. Come up on your feet, walk your feet in, and then push up.
If you can, close your eyes, allow yourself to breathe, and enjoy the pose. They say that this is the king of all poses, the fountain of youth, because you're turning everything upside down. And make sure that you're breathing. To allow yourself to come down, just simply come down. And that will complete our additional series.